Hello audience. Today we will discuss about the radiated RF immunity. Immunity testing requires that the equipment under test operate satisfactorily when subject to a strong radiated electromagnetic field, such as might be created by cell phones and other intentional radiators, and RF noise that might be caused, inadvertently or otherwise, by industrial processes. This requires a frequency scan at a certain fixed level of field strength, specified by the standards. The intensity of the testing field is represents as a value of an unmodulated signal. This signal is modulated by sinus wave 1 kHz with 80% modulation depth when testing of electromagnetic susceptibility. The real threat when radio frequency fields radiating is simulated for the equipment under test. EUT, by this modulation. The scan will comprise a series of steps in frequency. Each step is specified as a percentage of current frequency value. This percentage is variable from 0.2% to 5%. At each step, the frequency is held, the level adjusted to the required field strength, VM, as measured by a field sensor. A prescribed modulation mode is initiated and then the conditions held for at well time. The EUT should be monitored to detect faulty operation during the test. Typical values for field strength are 3 volts per meter for domestic and 10 volts per meter for industrial products. Other higher stress levels are often specified for certain types of products for example medical and automotive. These fields are so intense that this test must be carried out in a screen chamber or test cell. Test cells such as the GTM are highly efficient but restricted to small products. Screen chambers can be large, but can be relatively expensive and require powerful amplifiers to create the required stress levels. Testing Levels the table shows an intensity of the testing field based on testing level according to IEC 61004-3. Testing levels are used for general purposes, digital radio telephones and other devices, which emit radio frequency radiation. X represents the unlimited testing level and its associated field intensity can acquire whatever value. This testing level can be given in the product standard. Frequency range. Testing of electromagnetic susceptibility on the general purposes is mostly done in frequency range from 80 MHz up to 2 GHz. In case, when testing levels involve safety against radio frequency radiation from digital radio telephones and other devices, which emit radio frequency fields, the immunity tests are done in frequency range from 800 MHz up to 960 MHz and 1.4 GHz up to 6.0 GHz. Magnetic Field Immunity Test Some product standards call for magnetic field immunity testing. The most common type of magnetic field immunity testing is called a C power line that means magnetic field generating transducer will be driven with a 50 or 60 Hz signal to simulate the AC power supply. This version of the test is to ensure that your product works properly in the presence of magnetic fields generated by nearby power cabling. Some other magnetic field test variations involve sweeping a band of frequencies and also applying a modulation frequency. There are a few types of components that can be particularly susceptible to magnetic fields. Often the test is exempted if your device does not contain any components that could perceivably be affected by a magnetic field. But, here are some to watch out for. Relays CRT monitors Hall elements, electrodynamic microphones, magnetic field sensors, etc. Now we will discuss what are some typical failure modes. Radiated electric fields are most often picked up by a product's external cabling. That is because at the lower end of the radiated immunity frequency range, cables of length 1 to 3 meters can act as effective receiving antennas. At the higher frequencies, Traces on your PCBs begin to become more effective at receiving energy from electric fields. 
the field can induce voltages on both analog and digital signals, so you can imagine that there is a host of issues that this can cause. Here are a few of the common ones. Measurement errors, for EUTs with analog sensing. Wireless interference, for EUTs with transmitters. 1 kHz audio, the EUT often demodulates the modulation signal. Digital logic errors, if your eye diagram is very small and signal integrity is poor. EMC immunity tests that your product may have to face. Now that you know what they are, you can begin to start thinking about how to prepare your designs for testing. We Croydon Services Private Limited will help you to design product solutions which will immune to RF susceptibility. You can reach us on info at croydonservice.com or visit us on www.croydonservice.com. Thanking you.